Okay, hi y'all. It's me again. You know what happened. <laughs> My phone cut me off. So I cursed in 27 languages. Then I uploaded the video. That was only 37 minutes. And I'm going to finish this little thing. But then, <laughs> this time, I'm just going to show you each of the individual earrings that don't match. If y'all want to pair up them, you know, whatever, just say, hey, didn't miss these. I want these two for a dollar or whatever. I don't care. Because the faster I get this done, the faster you can see everything. Okay? So I'm going to put, I'm going to tell you, this is a post back and it has fabric on it. Okay? And then I'm going to put them in the unmatched bag so we can get busy like that. All right? This is a swirly thing that's made out of wood and it has a gold wire. Oh, and the lights are up in there, too. Hold on. Boy, I'm just... Mm. Hold on. <laughs> and then I forgot one of the pairs that was really pretty, actually. this You saw this yesterday, or the day before. These are gorgeous. They have red rhinestone for the, where the posts are, and a red briolet cut, uh, acrylic uh, briolet cut, and faceted and a pink real light cut. These are beautiful. And I'll put this in the matched hair bag. Okay, so we have this thing that's got to be from the roller skating days, I'm thinking. And this has acrylic little like beads on them, but they're not movable. Post and bullet back. This is that other one that matched the broken one, like this right here, and this. I have the piece that goes on the back. I'm gonna try to fix them probably. Okay, here's a hoop, a gold tone with a little um, texture on it. This is a post silver tone bow, very cute. This is an acrylic one. There was a gray one like this, a silver tone one, post back. Hey, my skull and crossbones fell over. It was so mad. <laughs> this is a wire. We saw this the other day too. A uh, wire wrap, wire earring. Gold tone. A button earring, but it is the clip on screw back. This looks like the Egyptian. Oh, this looks like the Egyptian. See this? Mm. <clears throat> okay. Let me see if I can fix this like this. Hope I don't break. Yay. Well, mm. maybe that's why they gave this up. They matched this sucker on here when they should have no been. Uh oh. Well. It, somebody better than me is going to have to take this off. This is a rhinestone cabochon, by the way. There's a little silver postal butterfly back hoop, or kind of hoop. This is a post gold tone with a seed bead love knot. This, I showed you this earlier. I want to make sure. Post a butterfly back. 60s with go-go -go boots. This is a gorgeous color of turquoise. It's like a tin post back. This is a hammered look brass color earring with an ear wire. This is a giant um, rhinestone. Oh, and it says the name. No kidding. Oh, it says Ann Taylor. It looked like Am. <laughs> Ann Taylor, a rhinestone. Okay. This is real jazzy. It is a clip-on also. This is nice. These are nice right here. And this, this is a double pad. This is jazzy. This is another little hoop 
Thimmy Hoop Silver Tone. This is wood post back and this is wood post back. They're not the same, but you know. I colored this with that pen. It was icky looking before, so I just gave it some life. It has a purple acrylic uh, thing on the back post. I should put silver on this one. And this is called, where they, they don't want to make it solid, so it's a electroform. That's what this is called. If you ever see a hole in the back of a metal something, gold something, and you see a hole in the back, it's because it's electroform. They make a, put a wax in here, in the mold, and then they put the stuff around it, and then the wax is melted and poured out. Didn't know I could stuff so much stuff in my brain, huh? <laughs> this is the froggy acrylic froggy earring with the wire wire back. This goes on that card and what? Okay. This is the card I'm talking about. Okay. We found this when I first opened the box, I think. A lot of these do not have backs on them. We have a couple man in the moons flowers. These are like mille fiore because when you cut the, these are polymer clay. When you cut them they go all the way through. These are dolphins. This is I don't know. It looks like Medusa. Hold on. Oh, he's a mino sharp with a black eye. <laughs> Look at this guy. You see him? Or a bulldog? I think it's a shark. Let me put him here. Anyway, he matches that one. There's more Man in the Moon. Oh, these have backs. Okay, flowers. There's a spaceman. Some kind of other kind of design. A flower. This one's the only one that doesn't have a a match. Well, the whole bunch of them don't have any matches. But I'm going to put this in a plastic bag. And it can have the whole thing. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 pairs plus two oddballs for three dollars okay so i'll put it in like a ziploc bag so even if they fall off um they won't get hurt okay this is a silver tone clip with clip on you can hang something from this because that's what it's made for it has its five or six rhinestones clip This is a button earring, very pretty brush bold. Post back. <laughs> Almost fell off. This is another little hoop. It's bigger than the other ones, but it's nice. Gold tone. This is beautiful. This looks like grapes, I'm not sure. But it's very pretty filigree work. Post back. This is a little fishy. Looks like aluminum. Aluminum. This is a three pearl gold tone dangle. This is reddish, brownish, greenish with a circle and silver tone tangle wood. I don't know if I said that. Here's something to something. It was a back to something. We tested this the other day. It is not silver, although it looked like it. I've seen some of the craft stuff that people do with single earring earrings. That's amazing. This is a giant uh, rhinestone, silver tone post back. This is a really nice, um, real fancy pad on here with a kind of tree branch swirly thing, gold tone. This is a vintage earring. This is brassy looking, but these are two full pearls, post and bullet back. You can tell it's vintage because of this. The makers bend this over and then close it with this right here. The manufacturer post back. These are beautiful acrylic faceted drops or dangled. This is round and this is kind of a briolet type of color, excuse me, a bitone, bicone with a silver tone cap on it. And there's Skeletor. 
<laughs> it's a bigger hoop with peach. We've had this color peach uh, bracelets before and uh, gold tone. Here's three different pearl earrings. This is a full pearl with a post and bow back. This is that teeny tiny little um, ear wire that you could put a dangle on right there. And this is a little teeny tiny post, quit it, pearl earring dangle. I would put those together. Gold tone, this needs to be cleaned off. Oh, look. See, it's all good. Gold tone, post back. This is like the ladybug earring that we had before. I'm surprised, I'm sure it's the same manufacturer. It feels like a leather fabric, pleather post back and silver tone. I showed you this one already, the, the ear wire just came off. It's kind of an acrylic, acrylic eh, enamel. Oh, and it has a hole right here for something to dangle from. I'll put that in there. This is an orange acrylic plastic hoop. This is an enamel flower with beautiful swirlies of turquoise blue, more blue, silver tone. This is the art glass peace sign, silver tone. This is the little turtle guy, post back. I wonder. Uh, this is the blue dangle with the gray acrylic and the blue acrylics. Uh, beads with a few little rhinestones there. This is a pretty red uh, rhinestone with um, some little crystals, silver tone. <laughs> this is a gold tone post with a rope chain attached to it and a full pearl blue. This is the Zuni bear, I already showed you this. I wanna make sure I got them all though. These are um, crystal quartz, gold wire. This is the blue shroom, along with this glass earring. This is our glass. I would put these together if I were you. They're both glass. Hey, get back in there. They're trying to escape. <laughs> This is a, this is the one that I thought that something needed to be on the front of this because it's very strange looking, but it's silver tone and it's a clip on. This is a plastic acrylic type thing with glittery green here and gray here. And it says the colors. So you would not, $12. Mm -hmm. This is a button earring clip on. This is vintage, vintage silver tone. This is the one I said that should be made into a pin. This is beautiful. Somebody did a really, really nice job. And it's an earring. But you could make a pin out of it. Just my suggestion. This is an actual J-hoop. <laughs> Gold tone with a post back. These two are vintage clip-ons. This one had the nice filigree on the back of it. Come on. Isn't that nice? They don't have, this one has writing, hold on. Dun, dun, dun. The Germany, this is from Germany. This has um, faux pearls and some little crystal with a wood piece right there. This is another 70s piece post back, gold tone. This is another one of those fabric type, it looks like pleather to me, leather clip on. I had a set, a pair, gold tone with a faux pearl and post back. This is with a black dangle. We had a white pair like this with silver tone. This is just a medallion. Oh, it has a Thunderbird. Anybody familiar with Native American is a Thunderbird with a silver, silver tone, ear wire. This is a swirly type of deal with rings on it. Post and bullet back. 
a shell earring. These are real shells. I wish Mary told you I was going to show you the difference in the width or of the, so you can tell real from fake. And that's silver tone ear wire. This for sure I thought I had. This looks like a coconut shell with little, I don't know what these are called, dangles, gold tone. Purple hoop, post and blow butterfly back. This is a medallion type with a post back. And this is this gorgeous one. It is a um, screw back with the flower type rhinestone with these beautiful things. They have all the pearls, teeny tiny little pearls in them. Okay, now I'm gonna get all this stuff over here. That's why I was so angry. Not only did it cut me off in the middle of the orphaned earrings, I had to go through all these too. So, they're a dollar unless I say different, okay? This is a pendant. This is acrylic. These are all three acrylic. A rhinestone, well, they're, these two aren't rhinestone. This is. This is a tie tack. This should be a slice of onyx, but it is plastic or acrylic. I'm gonna save the pins for last. This is a black mother of pearl. See that? Um, I guess it's a buttonhole holder thingy. I'm, I've not used them. This gorgeous pin is absolutely beautiful. It's never been used. It's quite bright, gold tone. This is $3. This is beautiful. This is support our troops without a pin on it, so you could use it for some kind of design. This is a lovely pin, vintage, with a bow, gold tone, with a bezel, a design on the side, holding a ceramic. I believe this to be a decal. It's very beautiful. Real old. This is an Avon flag pin. This is a happy Halloween dog tag. Uh, I'll put the, do the rings after. Stick pin, butterfly, nice butterfly, gold tone. This is a lovely pin. This is called checkerboard fastening. I said this yesterday. Has beautiful filigree work. It's very detailed. The mechanism works. We checked it. I'll check it again though. There you go. This is three dollars. Also, this is beautiful. This one of my subscribers told me yes, it does light up. It just needs a I don't know what kind of battery. Watch battery probably. That's a trip, right? Or hearing aid battery. There's another stick pin. Heart stick pin. This is gold tone also. The bottom is silver tone though. This is a heart, heart pin. It says Taiwan with a bronzy color, coppery, coppery color. I said this looked like a you know what leaf, but I guess it goes like this because it's a pin. It's very pretty silver tone, has no, that shows no signs of wear. The mechanism works fine. Nice rhinestone. This is a scarf uh, holder. Gold tone. This has got to be from Hawaii. They've had uh, hibiscus flowers on them. They're lovely as enamel. Oh, it's old. Hmm. This is oh, United Auto Workers V cap. Do not know what that means. My son worked for General Motors, but he was he was in the Plumbers and Pipefitters Union. Coast Casinos, probably Atlantic City. I don't know. Everybody has a casino now. Oh look. Now I what? Wait. We have one of these. This is a match. Hold on. If I don't find it now, I not will find it. Where is that thing? 
I'm trying not to make this noise. I know you guys don't like the noise. I personally don't either. But, you know, you know what? I'll do it after. I'm going to put this, if I forget and you ask for it, I'm going to put it in the matched one and I'm going to find the other one. Okay, this is a, this made in the USA and it's just a clouds with a S design with a rainbow. This is a heart pin that says heart throb poker run. And this is a biker thing, Las Vegas 94. Has a picture of Nevada on there. This is a beautiful pin with purple and pink rhinestones. Silver tone, lovely. No markings on the back. This is beautiful. It has all its rhinestones. This will be $3. This is the Avon thing. I guess if you work there long enough, you get one of these. This goes to an earring. No say. This is, what? Okay, this is a clip earring that I missed. <laughs> That's wood. This is my Francis, my mommy's name, F, gold. Brand new pin. This is a, it has a design on it. It's a ring, but it has design on it, a flattened design, like they smashed it every quarter of an inch. Let's see, this is a breast cancer awareness pin. No boys. <laughs> this is a belly button ring -a dingy I think. This could go on the back of that. Beautiful. Where'd it go? Well, did I put it up? Oh, it was an earring, yeah. I put it up. This is looks like a checkerboard with a pin as a heart. This is a bow pin, gold tone, and looks like it has something for a dangle right there, and it came loose. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that rhinestone right there. It's acrylic. This is a swirly pin. It's vintage. Very old. Hmm. I have to move this. See this? It's a C clasp. You just bend it just a little bit. It'll be fine. It's very, well, very heavy be two dollars this is one of these bar things i guess for a tie i'm not sure and my favorite <laughs> it's a poodle pin this was 388 dollars i don't know what was 388 dollars i never found out which one it was Hey, this is Holiday Casino Holiday Inn, Las Vegas. Pin. This is the children's together pin. I don't know what that means. This is a guardian angel birthstone for blue. It's for December. Okay, that's for blue topaz, a fake blue topaz. And then the rings. There's little beads everywhere still. This purple baby one. If you didn't see the size, I'll do the sizes real quick. Five and five and a quarter. This is a dinosaur or a gator or a ninja turtle. I don't know. It's like a two or something. No, it's a four right on the line. Without stretching it, of course. This is a, a copper with, I don't know what this metal is. This is the teeny tiny one, two and a half. Is this brutalist style? I don't know. This is a fake, ouch. Hold on, my foot's killing. A faux topaz, or excuse me, faux sapphire. I believe these were the ones that I said if they were real that we could go on a cruise. Could they look like cashmere. 
We had some other ones too. Cashmere's. So I think cashmere is a place that's been fought over for centuries. And they have the most beautiful sapphires. This is almost a five. And it just has a little heart and it's silver tone. We tested this one. This is pretty. I don't think we tested this one, but it's not silver. It has copper coming through. Nice design. And it is a seven and three quarters. It could be stretched, but I'm not stretching it. So a little teeny flower design. It's adjustable also. The size before adjustment is six and three quarters. This is the, the a, a dinosaur or a doggy with a bathing suit on. I don't know. Looks like a tune, a cartoon. This is almost a five. This is another one of those rings that have little depressions on them or designs or whatever. This is six and three quarter. And last but not least is another one of those dinosaur things. It's kind of a flower ring. And it is a f almost a five, unless you stretch it. Okay, that is all, folks. So, think about the questions that I asked you about being a moderator. What would you, would you like to see other stuff? Um, I've tentatively scheduled my uh, whatnot auction for not this Wednesday, but next Wednesday at 9.30. Now, it said it did not save my information. So, I have to call that uh, person tomorrow that belongs to whatnot. Uh, they have, they 